Hi guys. Well, today we're going to do, I'm doing a review, an unboxing um, of McCart's. It's nail foil art sets, um, and it includes two 15 milliliter nail foil glue bottles, uh, <clears throat> and which look like this is one from my other um, set, foil set that I ordered. Um, you know, before last time, and I keep it in this just because, especially when I first got it, really it was stinky. And so, if you're really sensitive to smells, you might want to put it in a little Ziploc when you're not using it. It doesn't bother me while I'm using it, but to just have it sitting on my table, I noticed um, there was some smell, so I just put it in a Ziploc and it didn't bother me. Uh, but anyway, so there's two of these, whoops, two of those. Love this foil gel glue. And, and then there's also uh, 30, so three boxes of 10 nail art foil stickers. And then there's one eight milliliter base coat of their base coat and one eight milliliter bottle of their top coat. And I love both. And then there's also a nail press pen, one. So here's the instructions that come in the box. and. They do show you, well, they show you some of their other products, which I, so far I'm loving all their products. And then in here it shows you, you know, how to do, how to do the foil. So that comes in it. And then let's take out these boxes of foils. And I did do some samples to try it. And oh my gosh. Okay, I'm in love. I have been looking and looking all over for vintage foils and I, on their last foil set I got, um, it was, there was a couple flower ones in there, which uh, one of them was this, which is, I absolutely love this, love it, love it. There was only, but there was only this one and one other floral one and the rest were all hollows, which I love them, but I wanted more of the vintage florals and I tried another brand and they were not they were hard to get to go on completely. So I love these. I just absolutely love them. Please, McCart, make more vintage florals. Absolutely love them. So anyway, there's that gorgeous. Look at those. Uh, let me see if I can open this without dumping them all out. I don't know if you can see it better from that side. Okay, let's open them. I'm not going to pull them all out, though, because they're tricky to get back in. <laughs> But anyway, aren't those, look at those. They're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Every single one of them. I love them. They're so beautiful. Um, and so anyway, that's, that's my favorite box that came. Absolutely favorite. Ten in here. And then my second favorite is this box of ten that came in here. So let me open it this way so you can see them. And there's some beautiful, there's some more vintage in here, and there's some other, you know, beautiful florals. If you like brighter, a little bit brighter colors, there's some in here. Love, love, love this one. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Anyway, they're all beautiful, love them. So, really pretty. It's another 10. And then, <clears throat> then this set came in here too. Now, these ones are different than the other two because these ones are. They are full coverage. That so like on the other first two, you got to put a. If you want a color behind them because they're see-through, you have to put a color behind them. So like I just put a sheer pink on these, and I just want them real soft and subtle, and they are you know, beautiful. I love them. I just put a sheer like French pink, you know, on those. But I found I really like them when you put like an opaque, uh, like a soft white or opaque you know, baby pink or whatever. Anyway, but these are a full coverage. And um, and these ones went on okay, but uh, you have to be more careful with these because they are full coverage. And I don't know what the deal is, but they all are kind of spacey, like, like uh, what's the word, galaxy-like backgrounds to them. So, you know, there's really, my favorite one is this one. I love this one. And then, you know, there's some other really pretty ones, too, with butterflies and flowers, these cherry blossoms. Anyway, 
they still for full coverage I thought they still went on pretty good um, so yes definitely better than most of the ones so another so 10 more of these so 30 of these and then you also get here's your nail art foil glue your gel foil glue so there's the two bottles that come in here love them and then you also get that bottle of base coat and top coat which I love theirs and then this came in the middle it fell out um, and I love this too and look how pretty this is look how pretty that is oh <laughs> and actually I've never had one with this end on it before and I never had one with the pre you know with the bling on it before either so I so I really like this um, so anyway <coughs> Um, also, and since I got this order through Amazon, I also ordered uh, McCart's new tungsten carbide um, bits because, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm doing my clients, I've been using like diamond bits and professional, but diamond bits and then the sandy bands. And for taking off the gel polish, I want something that just works faster. So I decided to try these. And so these are the safety ones. So they're like, you know, rounded up here. So when it's anywhere near their cuticles, supposedly it won't tear up their cuticles because, you know, these are more, you know, rugged. So this one is, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, fine. There's the fine one. And then there's a medium in this right here. Here's the medium. And, okay, so there's the medium. There's the fine, and so here is the coarse one. So it just means the teeth on it, you know, are a lot more uh, bitey. So if you had somebody with like super thick acrylic or something like that, you know, and you're gonna do an fill on it, um, this is supposed to be good for that. Anyway, uh, I haven't tried them yet, just got them. So I'm looking forward to trying them and seeing which is my favorite out of these three, which one I'll use the most. So there's that. And then also look for my, I have my McCart regular um, poly gel brush that came with my original set of poly gel by McCart. And it works great, I love it, but I wanted a pink one. So here's a pink one. And I haven't, you know, tried it yet, just got it. So I'm looking forward to that. That will be fun. And then one other thing I ordered I wanted to try is washi tape. And this one's kind of a vintage looking. I want to try doing some, you know, nail wraps with this and see what I think. Uh, oh, my gosh. There we go. There's some other ones uh, that I wanted to try, but they were out. So I went ahead and I decided to get one, invest in one, and see if I really like it and if it's worth my time and effort and if my clients like it or not. So that's the one I got. So that'll be something I'll try later. So anyway, uh, I absolutely am so thrilled with my sets of, you know, my foil set. So I'm going to do a couple samples before we call this unboxing uh, tutorial done. And um, we're going to do it out of, let's see, uh, let's see. So we're going to do, which one are we going to do? I think we're going to do this one here. And I just did a set of uh, press-on uh, nails for sale, and I used this. It's gorgeous. So we're going to use that one, and then I think we'll do this blue one, too, so you can see what that one looks like. It's so pretty. So let me see if I can move this out of my way for a minute. Okay. And which one's this one? The blue one? Yes. Okay, so move that there. All right. Oh, I forgot. One more thing I ordered in that set. Um, and like I said, all this came from Amazon. Um, and this is by McCart, obviously. And it was an extra, you know, some foil separate. Um, and these ones I thought were really pretty and they were different. So it's like a lot of, so some geometrics, and then there's some paisleys, kind of a mandala paisley look. Um, there's some real pretty, you know, colors in here. But I did try a couple samples, and I will tell you that out of all of the foils, um, I like the ones that came with that full set, the 30 that came with full set, as far as going on easy. 
better than I did this one. And I don't know what the deal is with why this one would be any different. I don't know. Um, but I even, I even tried, when I did this one, I even tried putting, wiping it with alcohol, which I didn't have to do with any of the other ones. So, um, to see if it would go on easier. So, I don't know. I know geometrics are harder anyway, or can be. So, I don't know if that's what the deal is, but they're really pretty. And so, I will practice some more with them. And, you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll get easier. I don't know. Okay, so let's get that one out of the way. So, I've already, so I'm going to go ahead and put on some. Oh, I should have been doing that while I was yakking, huh? Dang it. Save some time. Anyway, we're going to put on some of our foil nail glue. I already have gel polish on here. Now, I've done it both ways. It seems to work fine either way. I've done it where, like, my gel, I leave my tacky inhibition layer on my gel color. You know, I don't put a top coat. I just leave the inhibition layer, you know, I don't wipe it off, say, if I had done that with this. And then I go ahead and put my, you know, thin coat of this over it and set it. I've done it that way. And I've also done it this way, which is I've already wiped off the inhibition layer. And now I'm just going to put on this gel glue so you just want to get a you don't want to get a thick coat on here otherwise it might not dry good and it might be mushy when you go to try to put on your foil you don't want it like sticking to it really bad or you know being mushy feeling because it'll just ruin it so anyway there we go I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here for, uh, I do it for 60 seconds, so I'll do it two times in here. And I believe it says on there for 60 seconds. Let's see what it says in here. It does it say, curing with UV LED nail lamp. Keep container tightly sealed until ready for use. No, it doesn't tell you the time on here, but I looked it up and it's 60 seconds. And if you let it um, I think some people like using it when it's warm. I don't really know if it makes much difference or not, but I try to let it cool just a little bit before I put the foil, you know, the glue on, I mean the foil on to it. Try and stick the foil onto it. Um, so since we're doing that, I think I'll go ahead and do the second coat so that we don't have to wait, you know, double time. Okay, so we're going to do... So I want to make sure I get this covered good and make sure that you don't have any spots missing. Otherwise, you won't be able to pick up. And especially when you're doing things like these flowers, you know, that would be, be a drag if you couldn't get all your flower because you didn't have glue there. I mean, you could put some on, you know, do it a second time. But it's nice if you can get it right the first time. Okay, so now we've got it all covered on here. We're going to put this one in. Okay, wait a minute. Let me move this over so I can keep track of which one because one's going to be done sooner than the other. So we'll just set that over there for now. And then I'll get this ready. I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to cut off a piece. I can't stand to just leave the whole thing, the whole roll, and use that. That drives me crazy. That's just me. Whatever works for you better. So I just pull it out, and the, your ends are going to be in here. you got to find them. And they're always like two of them are stuck together. So, okay, this, usually they're like almost even or are even, and then it's, you've got to make sure you pull them apart so that you're not cutting two of them, you know, at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead, here's my other piece, and I'm going to pull it out. And I just, you know, I leave a little extra, but about close to what's going to cover my nail. And, you know, if you have a preference, you can always cut around whatever it is you really want. Um, these are pretty random, so I'm just going to do it that way. And then try and get this thing back together. <laughs> this is, okay, let's see. Here we go. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to try doing it this way. I'm going to try rolling it from the bottom. See if I can get it back in here good. Okay, I'm going to put the seam on the bottom. And there. Pretty good, not bad. All right, so get that one put away. And then let's get our blue one ready. Okay, here's our blue one. Oh my gosh, I love it, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so let's pull the end off the blue one. And turn it this way. There we go. Let's see this one, how pretty that is. 
So see what I mean about that these two first two boxes are clear, you know, around the images, which actually I've found is my preference now. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off a piece of this. Um, probably there. This should be good. These aren't that big, these nails. Okay, so I'm going to try and do the same thing. Start from the end and roll it. Maybe eventually I'll find some little, you know, other way to store them. But in the meantime, I just use these cases. They're fine. Keeps everything organized. Putting the seam down again. Whoop, didn't work this time. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Let's see, make sure my seam is down all the way. Hopefully, hopefully it stays down there. It did, yay. All right, so I think these are ready. So I'll go ahead and set that one extra. So I think one of the tricky things about this is, you know, you find whatever image or which image you want is your priority, you know? But then you've got to make sure that you, you know, when you first press it down, try to press it down where you want it to stay. That's the challenge. And then once you do have it down, even if it's not exactly like laying perfectly flat or whatever, don't try and pull it up. Otherwise, it's just going to pull out a piece and mess up your whole thing. Let's see if I can do what I'm saying to do. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to turn the rose down this way. And okay, so I just like lightly touch it down, right? The main, you know, image that I wanted to get, the rose one. And then I'm just going to go from the top down to the bottom, down the middle. And I just like using my thumb, especially for this part. So. Try not to get any creases if you can help it, but good luck. I think that's impossible because you're, you know, you know, you're laying it down like that. So let me look at it this way for a second. See if I can get my creases out. Um, I use my thumbnail too sometimes, but especially if there's a little piece that's being stubborn and not coming off. But you got to be careful about that. It's, don't do it too hard because you can make little scratch marks on your image and you don't want to do that. Um, so you could use your, you know, thing. I kind of do both. So like if I'm worried about scratching it, I like this end. This one's too soft for me. And doing it this way, it's still too soft, I think. I like to put it this way and use it this way. Where that, see where that angle is. I like doing the, anyway, I just, let me see if I can do it that way so you can see it and I can see it. So I'm just making sure, trying to make sure everything is covered on here. And you know, if you don't have a good brand of this stuff or a good glue, it can really make this like really tough to do. And you, and you can not get good image, you know, where you just get parts of your flowers and you got holes in them and all that. But McCarts, I'm telling you, I'm loving these. Absolutely loving these. I don't know if you could get much easier, you know, as far as trying to do. Let me see if I can tell. So you want to just do it really careful first to check and see if you got any little spots missing or not. And if you do, I can't really see. So hopefully you can see for me. So hopefully I'm not missing anything. You don't want to do it too hard and do it fast. I've seen people do it really fast. It doesn't work for me. So I'm just saying, I it's better to do it kind of do peak at a time and that way. Gorgeous. And you know what I notice? Okay, there's a teeny, 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 maybe teeny, I'm anal. Probably nobody even notices. Do you even notice there's anything amiss in this picture? <laughs> okay, well, let me just show you. There's a teeny, 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 teeny right there, a pink. That's it. Look how clean this is. I'm serious. It's awesome. I mean, okay, I don't know if that helps or not. It is so awesome. I mean, it's like 98 to 100% accurate. You know, like so far every time. 
So I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, and then I have a little plastic case. I save these puppies in, you know, for these Ressie's images. And I can use them if I, need, if I needed to piece something or just for some little smaller spot to put a rose. I Look how gorgeous that is. I absolutely love it. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and get the other one. We'll let that one set a minute. And then let's do, let me move my light out of the way. <clears throat> oh, that was my delish um, travel light, by the way. I love it. I love it, love it. Okay, so we're going to do the blue one now. So I just got to figure out where I want to put it. So, hmm. My fingers are long right now. My fingernails, and they're kind of in my way, but that's okay. I'm going to kind of put this big flower, try and put it up here towards the top, like uh, that, and press, start pressing that center, and then down. So I'm going to hold it there now. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to press it, and then press it down the middle, and then I'll start working the sides too. Start pressing down on each side. I'm going to get up here at the top all the way and press there. Oh, I hope you can see it. Sorry. I have to hold this up higher than my arms normally would hold something so that it stays above for the camera to, to get it. Okay, so that's what I've done. I've pressed from the top to the bottom and then pressed over here this whole side and then this whole side, hopefully, and let me look at it my way a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda, so there's just a couple little creases, you know, of course, because it's really roundy here. And so I'm gonna, sorry, I forgot to turn the heater off. And then I think my phone was also going life. Okay, so I'm gonna use this just a little bit, you know, in this end that I like, down here and just kind of rub over it. Just try and make sure if it isn't already completely transferred. So I'm doing up, doing up here. And, you know, I think, you know, it just takes some practice, but this foil and this gel glue by McCart they are awesome. They definitely make it way easier and way faster to learn how to do this. Way faster. Makes all the difference. All right, so let me turn it this way, see if I need to, I don't want anything, any crease that I couldn't see upside down. Okay, we're ready to pull it. Waiting for, ready for the reveal. <laughs> okay. Okay, so ready? All right, let's see. Hopefully it's gonna be easy. So gentle, slow. Okay, so let me look at it this way. I don't see anything missing. Gorgeous, look at that. I love that image, it's so pretty. It looks like either like watercolor paint or like, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, that ink, alcohol ink. Like if you paint it with alcohol inks or something. It's not gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, anyway, I love that. Well, that doesn't help, does it? Mm, so pretty. I don't think that light is helping much either, but okay. Anyway, so on this one here, the only thing I see on this in the center is a teeny, teeny, skinny little skinny place right there that I didn't see to rub down. Oops. And you could, you know, put it back on there and do it if it bothered you. But honestly, I don't see anything missing on here. Nothing that I notice or would bother me. So I'm good with it. So look how they are just gorgeous. Wow. Love them. So now I would just put my Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat over it. I know it's not stamping. And it'll probably be fine, but I just feel more comfortable doing that. I, it's beautiful. It's perfect. I don't want to get messed up, so I put this on. And I put a coat of this on, and then I would just, and it dries really fast. It's water-based. And then I, after that, you can either put a second coat of smudge-free on it, and, and you're done. Or you could put your 
the second coat could be your favorite top coat, whatever that is, or it could be gel or matte or whatever. So there's that, beautiful. So let's put that down to dry. And we're gonna go ahead and, I'll go ahead and do the second one too. So I do a generous amount down the middle first, then do the sides, do each side. There we go. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay, so I'll put that down, let that dry. And then I'll show you my samples that I did last night out of some of the other foils from the first and second box. So here's one, look at that, isn't that adorable? Look at those little polka dots, they're so cute. They are so cute, I love them. Okay, there we go, pretty. Okay, so here's one, let's do this one. There's that one. Oh gosh, I love that, it's so gorgeous. Could you imagine that in a Manny? Look how perfect that rose is, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna do some press-ons with that, oops. And then this is beautiful, I love those two. Wow, love those, love all those, look at those. And then this, okay, that's what we just did on white, but see it on, on that baby pink, really pretty on that too. That's what I did on my press-on set of press-on nails that I just finished. That pink behind it. And then there's our blue, except I put this on a baby blue, and so you can see, you know, the difference. Um, so like, we did it on white, and there it is on blue, and it's beautiful either way. I definitely think it looks more like watercolor, though, on the white. So, really pretty. And then this one, too another one in there isn't it gorgeous so pretty wow love those so pretty okay and then on the third box the one I told you is full coverage this is the one I told you is my favorite image in there isn't that beautiful so fun love that really fun and um, and then there's another one in here that was in there also, a darker color, kind of, I don't know, it's got some, now I put, just so you know, I put a light baby blue gel polish behind this, um, and I would suggest that for the full coverage ones, even though they're full coverage, if you miss a little teeny spot anywhere, you know, you won't even see it or notice it, so I just think it's wise to do that. I do that when I put it behind my ombre foils too, and that way it, it's perfect. This one, it's I put it over burgundy, and so it's got some kind of different colors in it, like browns and burgundies, and it's hard to see on this camera, I know. And then here's another one that's in that box. It's a full coverage, really pretty flowers, you know, kind of oranges and peaches. And then on that separate box of foil that I told you was more challenging, I did these two from it. Um, they're really pretty. I especially love this one. Really pretty. This is that geometric. That was the most challenging right there. But both of them, I ended up having to, it got about 70% of the image maybe. And then I had to put some of the gel, foil glue, gel polish, no, gel foil glue, uh, another coat over it, and then, you know, fill in what I missed on the, you know, a second time. So, you know, it's fine, they turned out pretty, but just know that it's more, more of a challenge and, you know, more work. It doesn't come out, uh, I would say, like, like I said, it's like 70% or something like that on your first try, whereas the other ones were 98 to 100, so just gorgeous. So I have one more of samples to show you, and look at those. I love those. And that's another one that's in that box. All these are in the box, but anyway, they're just beautiful. And look at that rose, that big rose. Oh gosh, so pretty. Yeah. So see how much more it shows up on like the white or, you know, as opposed to like mine over the sheer pink. Yeah, I definitely love these. Look at that, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so once again, it's, oh goodness, let me bring the box back over here. So it's McCart's Nail Foil Art Set. 
and uh, I mean, what a great deal. I mean, it comes with two bottles of the foil, gel foil glue, big bottles. These are like 15 milliliters. Um, and then it comes with the, you know, base coat, top coat that I love. And then it comes with this beautiful blingy, you know, presser for your foil transfers and three boxes of 10 of these foils. They're gorgeous. Anyway, so love them, love them. Please, McCart, make some more of these beautiful vintage floral, florals because I would love to collect some more. So thanks so much, so much for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon above so you'll get a notice on my next new tutorial, which will be really soon. So thank you so much. I hope you're staying safe. Bye.